Hey guys and welcome back. So today we are going to be watching What We Do in the Shadows, season four, episodes three and four. And I'm so curious to see the toddler Colin. Like, okay, I know that the episodes aired one at a time, but because I'm watching them two at a time, you know, in my head, like the episodes are grouped as two. So I'm just thinking like, oh, I wonder if Colin is going to age up a little bit this episode. Because like he grew a lot in just one year. So I'm wondering how long before he becomes, you know, a kid and then like a teenager. Like, oh my God, I cannot wait to see teenager Colin. I think that's going to be so fun. So I'm kind of expecting him to have aged up a little bit by this episode, which again, it makes no sense with the way the show aired because I think they air one episode at a time. But because in my head, it's like, oh, it's always two. So I'm just like, oh, maybe this time he's going to be a little bit older, even though there was no like age change between episodes one and two. But yes, I'm very excited to see that little abomination, <laughs> like just so freaking creepy. I don't know who came up with that to have the kid look exactly like adult Colin, but that is vile and creepy. But I'm still excited to see what kind of shenanigans he will get into this episode. And also to see more of Lazlo's parenting, because that shit is terrifying. Like, my guy, that is not how you raise a child at all. And I'm also curious to see when the club will be opened. So we now, of course, started working on it, doing the constructions. Will the construction still be going this episode or will we actually get to open it? And then if we do, what kind of vampires will be coming here? Seems like that could be a really fun plot line so I'm excited to see it. Also something horrific occurred to me regarding Nandor and Guillermo. You guys know I shift them so hard I really want that relationship to come to fruition but in the previous episode we found out that the guide was punished because she had sex with a vampire killer or a vampire hunter and Guillermo is that like he's a Van Helsing so like if Nandor were to ever be with him would the same fate befall him or if he turned Guillermo into a vampire would that be fine like okay is this like a twilight situation where like maybe Nandor gets together with human Guillermo and then he promises to counsel that like oh don't worry I will turn him into a vampire someday so that way he could avoid the same fate that befell the guide or what because like the guide forgot everything about her old life and she has been exiled to this vampire council place so that's insane i really hope the same thing won't happen to nandor but also i was editing the finale the other day and i don't know i'm still kind of a little bit disappointed with the premiere of this season just like the fact that guillermo didn't go after nandor still makes no sense to me like watching the scene between nandor and guillermo in the finale where guillermo was so happy and so excited when Nandor told him that they can go on this trip together and then once they get to this place he's gonna turn him into a vampire like Guillermo's face lit up like there was so much emotion in it and you can tell that how badly he wants to become a vampire so for him to never try and go after Nandor kind of makes no sense to me like he had a year to try and find him so that they can go to this place together and Guillermo could finally get what he wants he wanted to become a vampire for 12 years now he's dedicated so much of his life to Nandor and the rest of them and he finally had the opportunity to get what he wants and he just decided not to go for it and just stay in England and then find a new boyfriend I don't know if that makes any sense, but I guess we'll see. I'm sure they're gonna expand on that a little bit more, especially on Guillermo's supposed boyfriend. But yeah, I'm still just a little disappointed with the way it went. Like, this is really not what I was expecting. But either way, I'm very excited to get into these episodes. So if you guys are interested, you can watch the full audited reaction to this up on my Patreon. The link is gonna be in the description down below. And let's just jump straight into this episode. <laughs> Oh, look at this line! This is the big opening of our nightclub and everyone is... Oh my in... god, let's go, I'm so excited! We are going to be presenting the one and the only... Pretty Sock! Who? If you are a vampire, then you will know who Richie Sock is. He is probably the greatest vampire rap artist of all time. He's actually sucked Richie Sock, haven't you, Philip? <laughs> <laughs> Get it, Philip! And everyone knows throat juice! Gonna bust loose on the club roof, sucking throat juice like it's Grey Goose. Like it's Grey Goose! 
Who's a genius? Just so you know, I'm Nadja and it's called Nadja's. It's my girl! <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for her! She finally got what she wanted! Hopefully the guy will actually come and not just stand her up or something. Hey, ha! And then you'll probably have to wait a little bit longer. Yay! We love to wait! Yes! Um, if any of them try to start to kill you, just let me know and I will send someone down to take your place. Oh! They have to be soft! It looks cool, I really like it. People think that the Vampire Nightclub is just a 24 hour live suck and fuck fest that prints money, but it is not. We only do that for 12 hours at a time. Mawa is the perfect woman. And okay. I've got the chin to make even more. No, just like, I'm standing right here. I mean, you should see the modifications we've done to her ass. But? Yes, but whatever you want to call it, it is now perfect. But the problem is... Again, the but is not the problem. The problem is that she is so perfect. I am just worried that I'm not perfect enough for her. It's never too late to do some improvements on yourself, so as you will be deserving of her love, huh? Yeah, I had not thought of that. Hmm. I'm afraid Richie's suck has cancelled. What? I knew it. Mother! And you're going to go him and be very friendly. The good cop, you know. I ain't a cop. It's a tactic. Well, I ain't a pup or a narc or a snitch. It is pretend. Keep your perm on. Whoa. Thank you. Okay, you pussy bitch. I'm telling you, you cannot cancel the show. What the fuck are you doing? Come on, you pussy bitch. I take care of my master. He's been traumatized by the music business. Okay, okay. That's fair. Tom protects me from myself. So you need to be respectful. Of your familiar. I have a name. Shut up, familiar Tom. It's Dr. Tom. Oh, a doctor. Diagnose this. It's a middle finger in my face. <laughs> Good diagnosis. Hey guys, what's up? Before we dive in, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. It really helps out my channel a lot. He is a fucking YouTuber. I mean, last week he was in diapers and this week he looks like a six, seven year old maybe. I mean, every time I buy him a new pair of shoes, he outgrows them between breakfast and lunch. <laughs> Stop buying him shoes then. I told you I wanted him to grow up to be an interesting son of a bitch. Practicing fine art and cult here. Yeah, he won't be that. He really loves. Musical theater movie. Oh no. <laughs> have the dark Lord Rort. Stop, okay? Maybe. Musical theater is the lowest of all entertainments. It's a gutter pantomime performed by half wits with painted faces, enjoyed by lower wits. Maybe some. Maybe so. I forbid it. No, he's a child. This is who he is. You have to learn to accept him. Hey, guys. Hey, tell hey, me. hey. Buddy. Guess what? Oh. Come look at this. Great to see you. Whoa. Big time studio here. Yeah, I got two subscribers. <gasps> oh got two God. subscribers. Someone's a star. <laughs> oh, my God. Colin is coming for my job. Legos, where you, like, organize all the pieces before you build. <laughs> no more musicals and Legos. It's time to grow up. Time to grow up. This. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Oh, yes. Fuck it. Oh, my God. This is so fun. Lazo, guess what? You don't have to keep saying guess what to preface every remark that you make. Just say whatever the fuck it is that you want to say. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, you hurt his little feelings. I wish to have the world's biggest penis. Oh no, he still has wishes left. Don't do that, Nandor. If you'll be so kind as to give us a moment, Jane. Is there a reason why you have delayed the bestowal upon me a giant dick? You need to be really careful here, okay? Because these chins, they like to be tricky. And if you're not precise and perfect with your wish, it can come back to bite you in the ass. You're saying he's gonna give me a penis? It's gonna bite me in my own ass? He can't. Extra penis attached to the end of the one I have already. We should really write this down. No, <laughs> just a little sippy, sir. You're not hungry, master. That's in your mind. No. What? I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, I love you, master. I'm just here to protect you. Obviously, Richie is being very much manipulated by his familiar Tom. It seems that way, yeah. Obviously, we've got to kill this Tom guy. Yes, also a very standard music business protocol, but um, please can we put a pin in that until after the show? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to put a pin in Tom, right? Like an actual pin, maybe through his eye socket? The boy has no interest in larceny, vandalism, and obviously he's too young for whoring. So to keep this excursion from being a total waste of time, I threw him in this dumpster and told him he wasn't allowed out until he'd killed six rats. 
Hey, Lazo, guess what? What? Some dumb idiot threw out all these playbills. This one's from Miss Saigon. Did you know they used a real helicopter on stage? I have to say, I've never dealt with two people that are this detail-oriented. And as far as size goes... <laughs> Is that good or bad? It should not be so big that it crushes me. What about a, a mouse? For a penis? I don't think so. Gin, you little tricks. No, no, I think he means should the new member be big enough that it could crush a mouse. That is actually what I meant. So big it could crush a mouse. Yes, don't mind if I do. Okay. But well, why? I think... Are you gonna try and crush a mouse with your dick? Why would you wanna do that? You have let a human man transform you from a wild, horny, rampaging artist into a little pussy bitch who collaborates? What happened to the visionary who wrote for my corpse fuckers? My blood suckers, train of four top at the four ruckers. I bite necks and write checks, turn into a bat and have flight sex. Don't call me Count Dracula, I'll smack you up. Uh. I'm like a crypt disease, I'll attack your blood. Man, I really had bars back in the day. Hey, uh, <laughs> it's okay. Part in possession of new penis. That's me. Should be able to comfortably perform physical activities such as walking, running, skipping. Why well, I have a feeling he's just gonna have the exact same penis he already has. I think Gizmo was right. I think you're going to be incredibly boring. The type of chap who goes to see a revival of Auntie Mae and writes about it in his diary, but I don't hold that against you. You're a better man than I am. Oh, he still loves little Colin. You were raised to be charming, not sincere. Really? Well, that's nicely put. You're full of surprises. That's from Into the Woods by Stephen Sondheim. Right. I was thinking about it. Look at them holding hands. Look at the father-son duo. Your wish? Wait. You can't give him the world's largest penis by making everyone else's smaller. Oh, very good catch, Guillermo. Shit. I mean, well done, familiar. I was moments away from giving every man in the world but Nandor a micro wang. Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> it's just part of the job, I guess. Because why not? He loves chaos. Your familiar has a very shrewd and incisive mind when it comes to the penis stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Are you kidding to say thank you to me? <laughs> yeah, I was so proud of himself. And every time I use my new big dick, I will think of you and all you've done for me. Uh, this is your wish? This is my wish. Yes, go, Nandor. That's what we love to hear. Oh, wow. That'll do, pig. <laughs> yeah, well, come check out the size of this unit. <laughs> no fucking way. I'll be tame. I was surprised you wanted more, but uh, yeah, it turned out mm. beautifully if I do say so myself. <laughs> Now that he's not a toddler anymore, I do the kind of thing. Child Colin is quite cute. It's perfectly normal. Happens to every guy. We're still getting really Oh no, what happened, Andor? The gene tricked me into saying that every time I use my new big dick, I will think of you. He got us. He did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not niche. Exactly. That's perfect. If you're already thinking of Guillermo, you might as well just do it with Guillermo. So we collaborated on a bunch of new songs for me to do with the Jasmine 3 over here. Oh no, don't do that. I'm not gonna do them. Yeah. Good, thank God. I'm done listening to you. Forever. No, no, no. <gasps> oh no, that's the tongue! Comedy. Um, yeah. like, have you ever been flying around as a bat and you get hit by a drone and you be like, damn, the robot's coming for us? <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, show's over. <laughs> oh my god, not job. So rude, leave her alone. If you want to roll and roll those lucky dice. Go call and go. If you want to spend your journeys and with sweet music and love. If you want to rid this world of men and Oh no, the CJ is a little bit funky on that shot. So disgusting, I love it. Vampires have always loved charmed novelty acts. Who knows why? Some say they are transfixed by the youth and innocence they themselves lost long ago. Others just love how creepy and exploitative it is. But they don't care anyway, because the most important thing is that baby Colin Robinson is going to keep my club in business. I was worried the kid was a dog. Turns out he's got the groom. Oh yeah, he does. That's your son, Laszlo. Be proud. Welcome to Natchez. 
All right, that was awesome. But now on to episode four. Oh my god, it's still Colin. Business is booming at the nightclub. We love child exploitation here. That little tap dancing freak that clawed its way out of the abdominal cavity of dead Colin Robinson is causing such a buzz. We are pulling in capacity crowds. How many of our patrons have died in race-related accidents in the last week alone? Five. What? Five! That's quite a lot. <gasps> <laughs> they are having issues with how they're being treated. I gave them jobs. I'd say that's pretty bloody good treatment. Are they intentionally underperforming in order to get their way? You know, it does seem like they've organized some sort of labor action. They have a union? Let's go. This, I know how to handle. Kill them all. Uh, not just. Absolutely the fuck not. Give them what they want. Treat them better. That's not that difficult. But Lazo, guess what? You're tired. I'm tired. I, I'm at a really good part of my book, Not and the I. the fucking book again? Give it to me. I, I, what is he reading? Fairy tales. This is bullshit and highly inaccurate. Little Red Riding Hood. You know, that's a tale about a gruesome unsolved child abduction. <laughs> is it? Rumple Stiltskin. Rumple Dickskin, more like. You know, that's how he got his name, this chap. Doesn't say that in the book. What's Dickskin? What is Dickskin? That's a bloody good question. And not one that you should be asking. Let's get on with the last song. Oh my god, that was great. We require more than one break a day so that we may haunt the descendants of our transgressors. We would all like to have more time Ooh. for our hobbies. <laughs> Tested the will of His Majesty's fleet. Can we please read one of my books? Absolutely not. Please? Oh, Real book. Come on. Let him read his little fairy tales. Oh, Laszlo, just read him some of that baby bullshit he likes so much. Yeah, maybe the one about the elves and the shoemaker. All right, I'll tell you the real story. Some third-rate cobbler, ripped to the tits on formaldehyde fumes used in his leather tanning process, imagines he's seeing little elves do all his work. Loses his business, kills himself. The end. <gasps> That's so sad. Don't talk Colin that. We're going to the night market. A night market actually exists in every single town, but it is always hidden from the prying, pathetic eyes of humans. Ooh, that's fun. Then a good place to pillage your bata chakskis. It is truly <laughs> the only place where we can set aside our differences and work towards a common goal. To fuck the other guy before he fucks you! <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you later. I love you. What do you require for the night market? You love him? Yeah. What about Nandor? I mean, I do want him to be happy, but I want him to be happy with Nandor. If anyone asks, just say you're an orc or some shit. Well, I don't look like an orc. Do I? Mm, of course not. Even though we live in the same house, it's so rare that Nandor asks me along when he has an outing with his friends, so... Oh, come on. What did you just wish for? It changed my mind. Nice I think I'd rather just to stay home. Nandor, are you shitting me? This is a big fat bummer I am hearing. But okay, fine, I miss you already. Okay, bye. Come on. Why? Of course, Mawa is my one true love. Yeah, it looks like that. Sometimes it's just more fun to hang with just the boys. And Nadja? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that is not what I expected, Jesus Christ. Oh, is he taking us to the night market? He just got the train to clear out. You're still here, you know why you're here. Next stop, the night market. Hold you. Wait, he was fantastic. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Yes. Oh, everybody, go are your semen. Luckily, I come from a long line of highly skilled hagglers. My yaya, she once traded just a little bit of her thigh meat for a whole bag of onions. So yeah, I think I know what I'm doing. Where? Yeah, she's good. She knows what she's doing. The white base and use of porcelain interior. Yeah. <laughs> I literally just grabbed this from Nando's room before I left the house. Hopefully it wasn't sentimental to him. Fairies are pretty little women that can fly around and they live in mushrooms. Really? A likely story. What do we have here? A rancid pail of garbage. Uh, are hello, those the fairies? Oh. You're looking uh, healthy. Yeah, we've been eating garbage. Yeah, love to chat, but uh, got things to do. Enjoy your pile of shit. Thanks. Gross. Real fairies. Well, go on then. Yeah. Oh, why are you gonna crush his little heart? What human dare mingle amongst us? 
I, I'm not a human. Uh, I'm an orc. More like an orc. Martin, have a good one. Yeah. Oh, he smells like an orc. If whichever familia kicks the shit out of the other familia, he is the winner. That sounds absolutely terrible. Crush his bones! Break his head! Don't break his head. That's nothing. In the old days, I used to tear the head off. What are we thinking, folks? Should we do the head? Oh, great. They're still doing the head. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I want to do the head. Oh, no! Jesus Christ! Yeah, Guillermo, I agree. Why are you supporting this in so wrong in so many ways? You're right, it is, because you could take any of these guys. That's besides hey. the point. Uh, Lando, don't say that. This vampire here thinks that his familiar can beat any of our familiars. <laughs> Why did you say that, Lando? You dumb son of a bitch! No, no, my family will not be fighting tonight. Oh, no. I don't think that's an option. Are you scared? No. No, master. The only thing my familia is scared of is beating all of your familias all at once because that's how tough my familia is. Oh, what? What? Not the word. Are you shitting me? I don't know why Valkyries sell meatballs and furniture, but I'm not going to criticize the ways of other cultures. Oh, is it because it's like Ikea or something? <laughs> That is so fucking cool! That's my fucking game! I didn't touch him. He touched himself. Okay? <laughs> oh, sweetie, you did well. We have ourselves a new winner. This guy. Why are you bowing? He is the best. My point is, sometimes grown-ups lie to children when the truth is too horrifying for them. Yeah, you should start doing that. Think they look happy? I guess. They're not. They're shit scared. You stare at them, they freeze. That's sad. And sometimes, grown-ups lie to children. <laughs> Wait, that's so cute. So he's just a common German nudist. And behind him is a witch. They're very real. And one day they'll fight to get hold of your semen. Oh. But not in a fun way. What semen? <laughs> oh god, Lasso, please, I'm begging you. Never talk to Colin again. Not until at least he's an adult. <laughs> I'm just trying to talk to you like a regular person. You're being kind of a fucking dick, okay? Oh, Caro is the best. Let me tell you, I think he's my favorite character at the moment. <laughs> is there a doctor? Is there a doctor? Somebody, we're not hurting anyone today. Oh, fuck. And we have ourselves a winner again. Suck it. Yeah, fuck is right. Holy shit. Now how do I know you're not with some form of law enforcement? Hey! Fuck you, man. What a cop have this? A piece of clothing with a very misogynistic joke that makes a complete mockery of common traffic safety laws. Mike, drop. And as a reward, what we all know humans love most, some dried up dog food. They love that shit. <laughs> Thank you. I guess he could take it to the little hellhound. Let's check up on him. How is he? Our champion vampire, Gorgo the murderer. <laughs> Gorgo the murderer? Oh my god. Undefeated when it comes to murder. <sighs> oh, Until now, get a load of Guillermo. He's gonna fuck you up. This is a guy that's gonna rip your head clean off. Actually, he's not. He's a vampire. Now remember, I'm a vampire killer. Oh yes, I always forget that. Okay then, go kill him! Go kill him! Go kill him! Go kill him! Just one second. Sorry, one second. What? What's gonna happen when a room full of vampires sees a familiar kill a vampire for the first time? Good point. They're gonna kill your ass. A fight between this poor familiar? My closest companion for 13 years? Oh, how sweet. This is sick! This is sick! <laughs> This is sick. Not you. This is sick. A battle between him and me. Oh! Who wants to see me pulverize my closest companion? What? Nether, how is this fixing anything? You want him to kill your ass? Kill your friend. I'm gonna kill your friend. Kill your friend. Kill your friend. I can't. This place is so fed up with Nando's bullshit. I'm not to hurt you, Guillermo. I'm just gonna take you out with one punch and then carry your body away. Uh huh. It's implausible it would take any longer than five seconds for me to beat you. Mm, is it though? I mean, remember last time? Hey! I remember, it was so hot. I didn't cheat. You did just a little bit. I didn't have to. Come on, this is okay. boring. Oh, Guillermo, don't piss him off. Come on, kill your friend. Oh, oh, 
fucking love him so much. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> he killed my friend. That's nice. How much for this one? <laughs> <laughs> What you made me do? All right, calm down, Taylor Swift. It was your idea. Remember? Get back. Oh, this is your behind the behind the Why are you mad at no. me? Sorry, can I? Let him use the camera, but it's the human shield. <gasps> oh my God, Guillermo, are you okay? Did you kill him? Did you kill your friend? Oopsies. Yeah, oopsies is right, bitch. I killed my friend. I may have killed my friend. Yeah. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> they are right here, man. Finish me. Why would he? He loves you. Well, maybe not anymore, but he definitely did at one point. I'm not gonna finish anyone, okay? I'm gonna let you win. I don't really want to kill you, but if it is the only way, then <laughs> say <laughs> No. No, dude. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Oh my god, that actually scared me. Like, we didn't hear the crunch or anything, but it actually fucking scared me for a sec. The night market, what fun. Mm. I already had plans last night, so it's a good thing I didn't get invited. And here, I got you a gift. I think I just probably came out of this. <laughs> and you can use the box to store your brooches or whatever. What? What are the vials? It's a narcotic that the Egyptians used to bury with their dead in order to help ease the sufferings of the afterlife. Oh! It is the only drug that helps with the pain of being a wraith. Very hard to come. Oh, they're in pain. That's so sad. Do I have enough of these to give to the one wraith who tells all the other wraiths what to do? You're gonna buy him off? Maybe. I think that is probably all I need. Don't you? He won't do it. No. Oh, so spineless. What? Oh. <gasps> oh, yikes. Oh, no. oh jeez. Poor Xerxes, whatever his name was. Xerxes is no longer our leader. Also, he is dead. <laughs> Fine, fuck it. You can have Mondays off with pay, and I will build you five new supply closets for you to sleep in. <laughs> Deal! There you go, Dacha. Proud of ya. Would you like me to read one of your fairy stories to you? No, that's okay. I don't think I want to read those anymore. Oh, Laszlo. A lonesome area that other Kansans call out there. Are you still awake? Um, yeah. It gets very heavy from here on in. <laughs> from here on in, you read one sentence. Oh my god, I do love Last Was a Dad. Like, it's really such a fun relationship he has with Colin now. Oh man, that fight between Nandor and Guillermo was so good though. Now, tell me why I actually got scared that he killed him. Like, I don't know, just like, it was so quick and sudden. Just like the next snap. I was just like, Wait, did you actually kill him? Like, of course not, because Guillermo has been his closest companion for 13 years and he just wanted to hang out with the boys this episode and now with his fiance. Like, I'm sure that means nothing whatsoever. <laughs> so he's like, I'm so here for this Nando Guillermo relationship, but like Guillermo being in love with someone else is really complicating things. So I need him to cut that shit out and for them to finally confess their feelings to each other and stop flirting in a weird way where they just keep fighting each other okay like can they just flirt normally please for the love of god but yeah the whole night market plot was really really fun and i'm also as i said loving this glasslow colin relationship like him raising colin is just so cute like their relationship is so special and i love it so much but yeah as always these two episodes were great the whole mandor penis enlargement thing was just so ridiculous but then for it to end with the whole like anytime he tries to have sex now he will think of Guillermo so good just so so funny so yeah I had a lot of fun and I really hope you guys enjoy these reactions and thank you so much for watching and as always a huge shout out goes out to my patreons for supporting me thank you guys so much you guys are the best I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone clipped my...